This puzzle was posted to Melsa Mumbai's puzzle SIG, and uh, it goes like this: that 615 plus x square is equal to 2 raised to y. And in this equation, we have to find integer values of x and y that satisfy. Okay, so we'll be looking at the solution, but before that, if you want to solve it on your own, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and look at the solution. Okay. So the first thing we can do here is take all the unknowns on one side. That gives us 615 is equal to 2 raised to y minus x square. And looking at this minus x square, it gives us an idea, a possibility, that maybe we can express this as the difference of two squares. And it is known that any odd number can be expressed as a difference of two squares. So that's how we are going to split it into. So that gives us uh, these two factors, so 2 raised to y upon 2, that is square root of this, plus x, and 2 raised to y upon 2, minus x. Of course, we can express the first factor as a and uh, second factor as b. And uh, then if we add this, a plus b, then this plus x and minus x will get cancelled, and we'll get twice of this 2 raised to y by 2, uh, which will uh, make it, of course, 2 raised to y by 2 plus 1, so that gives us our first useful insight, and that is uh, we can we have to split this 615 into two factors such that they get added to some power of 2. So we can start listing these factors uh, into a kind of table. So we'll be tabulating the first factor A, the second factor B, their sum, and then we'll be checking whether the sum is a power of 2 or not. Here's the first pair of factors, 615 and 1, but they add up to 616, which is not the power of 2. So let's take the next one. This doesn't add up to uh, a power of 2 either. And there we go. So here we have 123 into 5, which add up, adds up to 128, which is 2 raised to 7. So it is indeed a power of 2. But for uh, completeness, let's go ahead and keep factoring it. And here is our last factor, which is not adding up to a power of 2. So we'll uh, start taking these values now. So A is equal to 123, B is equal to 5. And uh, using those, we can calculate Y. And now we can equate the powers of 2 over here. So 2 raised to Y by 2 plus 1 is 2 raised to 7. Y by 2 plus 1 is 7. So we can solve for y, and solving we will get y is equal to 12. And then we can use a minus b, which will give us 2x, and then we can calculate x as a minus b upon 2. So 123 minus 5 by 2 is 59. So that's our solution. y is equal to 12, and x is equal to 59. So this is the expression that is given to us.